Thank you so much for staying with us. Time for career right now. Uh, we want to look to how lay, to lay a foundation. Uh, we'll be looking into, you see, a young kid who, ha who begins to do something by themselves without the knowledge or the, any teaching or any training by anyone, but they can do one, two, three. Especially in this era we are speaking of technology, you can find a small kid can operate a computer or a phone or can even be be able to code something through uh, the computer or the phone does that kid needs to go to school like you were brought up and a shule summer get papers you couldn't go for dancing to help me do that is daniel Njeru is an ict expert will understand or we will get to know how does one get to lay the foundation and what is the role of a parent or a guardian to make sure that the kids grow towards their career path whatever path they choose as young kids of their talents and their giftings. Send us your comments to all our social media platforms, our 254 channel, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, um, Dereva Hilary, and welcome to the broadcast. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good to have you too. Now, like I was trying to ad lib here, what we are looking into, uh, laying a career foundation. It's a journey to so many people. Uh, we have been in a position where you are told you can only be this if you do this, and I want you to be this. Our parents used to tell us, you're a doctor, and that's where you want to begin. Who you are, what do you do? Yes, uh, thank you for having, having me here on studio. Uh, my name is Daniel, just like you said, Jeru. I am the head of department, I, uh, f head of faculty, ICT engineering at ZTEC University. And um, yes, so when you talk about careers, I'm so excited to, <laughs> to be in your midst uh, this morning and also to dive into this discussion, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, in, your, in the career you are today, yes. was it pointed for you, was it pushed for you, or it was something that you developed? And maybe at what age did you realize, ah, I'm going to go to engineering. If you allow me, I would give just a brief one minute, maybe, uh, journey of the how I've been <laughs> here. Yeah? Um, so my dad is in water engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, he really wanted me to do structural engineering. Mm -hmm. um, so I was called for that in my university where I wasn't able to join. Mm -hmm. And then um, somehow I got myself into computer science, uh, which I did in a different institution, a private institution, mm -hmm. DESTA. And so, um, so the whole journey, let me say, the whole journey has been a journey of just trying to find myself. Like, you know, I, I, I really don't know where I am. Mm -hmm. Do you <laughs> blame um, that on your parents because Alisema, you can <laughs> be this? <laughs> um, I wouldn't blame them per se because they definitely wanted the best for me mm -hmm. and they were looking at how this you know the economy looked at look the way the economy looked mm -hmm. uh, at that particular point so i wouldn't blame them but um, what i'm glad about is that at some point i was able to take a journey to myself and ask myself what really do I really want mm -hmm. like what is that exact thing that I want in life mm -hmm. and I think that has made the whole difference yes wonderful yeah. now I'm, I'm sure in your interactions you have been encouraging people to do certain careers or when someone comes confused you try to advise them on what career path they can take and yes. how it can be beneficial into their lives yes. The people you speak to, yes. I'm assuming you speak to mostly young people. Yes. Who are your targets? Where do you find them? Uh, my targets are young adults, I would say, and ex from force. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I look for opportunities um, in high schools, mm -hmm. uh, for example, but also I was actually a high school teacher at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so I look for opportunities in high schools, but also opportunities uh, for the first year first year, first semester students, and just try to get them ignited around this conversation because the moment they get it wrong, mm -hmm. they will find themselves, they are doing PhD, but they still don't know what they want to do here. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I like it when we have a conversation with the students and ask them, hey, so why are you b doing BSIT? Why are you doing Bachelor of Finance and Accounting? 
and not this, year, this other one. And so uh, my target has always been where we can have, uh, you know, just young adults who are just trying to shape their career mm -hmm. um, and just having a conversation, healthy conversation, um, but also being objective in how objective and listening to them and what, what exactly is igniting them to do this and not this year. All right. Then that brings me to the questions. Why go to the high school? As we are living at a time when we have seen young kids as mm -hmm. as old as three and even five mm -hmm. becoming innovative. Yes. They are showing an exemplary uh, ideas and techniques of doing ABCD. For an example, you find someone who is five years can operate fully a computer. They've never gone to a computer school. They've never, yes. but they know a computer has a problem and they can do that. Someone who can connect anything in, uh, in the house. Don't you think it's a time you go to these people and maybe why haven't you chosen that, those kind of people? Actually, you're speaking of CBC even in our country. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. And that's, that's an interesting conversation that we, want. We, need to, we need to start now starting those conversations. And I'm glad about this show because um, I would really be glad if this conversation started in uh, pre-primary. Yeah, mm -hmm. that my son, who is now turning five next Saturday, mm -hmm. I can start having a conversation with him, but also watching him at a distance and looking at what exactly is this guy passionate about. Um, because if this conversation could start that early, mm -hmm. we won't have crises that we have when we get to institutions of higher learning and people are not very clear on why they are doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, to me, I would say it's only that probably at that particular point, um, it is at the discretion of the parent now to, uh, to guide the, 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 the pupil mm -hmm. or, or rather the kid around what they, they should be having. Mm -hmm. But if that conversation was to start right there, and let me tell you, um, I, I must say that um, the way we are going, the competence-based curriculum, mm -hmm. there is no option. We'll have to start these conversations early. Sure. Because the, the moment a kid is uh, channeled to a particular strand, let's say STEM, mm -hmm. they will not have an opportunity to to turn around and say, now I want to start. And probably they are in, in senior secondary, they have finished. And so they are now channeled to engineering and yet someone wants sports and arts and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a conversation that even the parents, the guardians, we need to start having it this early. It's only that now what we are presented with institutions of higher learning like ZTEC is whereby the government is giving us students and we must really think, mm -hmm. how do I shape this particular student to be a relevant person, but also to make a contribution to the economy, such mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, they will not say, I did a degree, but I don't think this is it. I think I need to channel myself to something else, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we are living at a time when time has changed, and so should people. Yeah. You, have, uh, you have seen... Um, Young kids, I will give an example with one of our musicians in Kenya. He has his Echo Dida, he has kids who are performing and many other kids out there who are performing or artists. Yeah. And these kids, for some time, maybe by the time they get into my age, they will have a lot of money. Yes. Will these people ever need to go to school? They have money, they have influence. Mm -hmm. School and career and their career path, do they merge? they do school and career path they do because what we need to have mm -hmm. which like i must admit it's we still have a journey to take but what we need to have is a scenario whereby um, your skills your passion your interests is what shapes this i, I mean you are your passion your interest your personality mm -hmm. is what shapes what particular skill you want to gain. So you develop a skill set mm -hmm. around, um, around um, your areas of passion, your areas of interests. So like for example, for, for, um, for Ecodida's uh, uh, sons, uh, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. And, and for me, uh, what I would say is if such like parents would now begin to, let's develop 
a skill or let this particular kid gain knowledge mm -hmm. around this particular area they are passionate about. Perfect. Mm -hmm. They will go, they, they will be able to make um, a greater impact than you're doing this for money, you're doing this because your dad said, mm -hmm. you're doing this because um, um, you, you have an uncle who has done this before and so you think this could earn money. Mm -hmm. If, if we are able now to take that particular direction, mm -hmm. I think even the economy will be in a better place. All right, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, boils down to the parenting and the kind of the information we get. Yes. Right now as we speak, there is a variety of uh, platforms where we get information from mainstream, from social media, yes, yes. internet is here. Yes. Everyone can get whatever kind of information they want, but also there is parenting. Now, bringing these all together to ensure a certain kid, an example of those kids, knowing them, you are in the music industry, yes. and this is what is in the music industry. Yes. How else can our parents, the current generation that we have, yes. ensure that the, the generation that is upcoming, they have the information around what they want, and where do they get that information? Because like you have, you have mentioned, Current institutions are giving what the government has given out. This is yes. best, but we have someone who has been left out. Um, so uh, my my thoughts around this would be um, the parents also need to, we need a change of mindset because um, as a parent, and I am a parent, I think I have a very huge influence mm -hmm. into what my, my son becomes. Mm -hmm. I have, I am an authority to my son. Mm -hmm. And so there is, in a sense, in, in a sense there is a way that whatever I say at some point carries the day. Um, either I'm forcing it or not, even if I'm just very objective in what I'm saying, they may listen to me. And so there is a need for change of mindset for us as a parent, mm -hmm. whereby if I'm seeing the, you know, um, mtoto wangu ameanza ku, you know, kuchapa mix mm -hmm. <laughs> as early as, as, you know, a primary school or something, mm -hmm. why should I really subject them to a different area? I think we need to have a conversation, or rather the parents need to change their mindset to see that it's not only the conventional careers that we knew before, mm -hmm. that today can actually be fruitful or that can um, be um, the best careers. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There are many other career paths that have come and taken shape mm -hmm. and those career paths are also valuable. They are excellent career paths. Mm -hmm. yeah? So I would say um, we, there is quite a lot that needs to change which in my opinion I'm seeing uh, the competence-based curriculum if it's well uh, implemented it would give us an upper hand as, as, as a country in the sense that uh, people are able to, um, we are able to channel the efforts where it accounts for, 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 a, pari I mean for a student or a kid early enough mm -hmm. before they are channeled or before they, 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 they are, their personality or their, um, their career path shape, mm -hmm. we are able to direct them in the best way possible, yes. All right, finally, finally, Kabsa. Yes. Striking a balance. Yes. I'm sure you have met this kind of people or still going back to our example. Yes. There's a kid who is an artist. Yes. They love singing. Yes. But maybe they have another thing. They feel like I can be a doctor, I can be an engineer. Mm -hmm. Now becoming a, an artist who is an engineer or an engineer who is an artist, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the reverse is true. Yeah. Striking a balance yeah. between your passion and mm -hmm. what now the added skill mm -hmm. maybe to make you uh, be on a different level. How does one strike that balance? Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> I, I think uh, when you look at the economy and in uh, and, and Kenya at large, and Kenyans, Kenyans are very interesting people, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, um, it has, I mean, we have seen in many occasions whereby someone is doing quite a number of things. Yeah, so, <laughs> so many hassles here and there. Yeah? You have <laughs> one hassle here and another one. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, what we need is um, um, if we can be able to have a convergency between, uh, let's say for example, um, 
I am passionate about um, rugby. Yeah. Can I be and, and probably I've done IT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, do this rugby in a company that probably has a has mm -hmm. a um, you know has a, a, a team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'm able to scale up the brand of that company through their their team and I've seen many like mm -hmm. KCB yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a team yeah mm -hmm. so I am able to plug in my 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 passion is still scaling up but also I'm also able to to get um to get my career going and mm -hmm. so the the convergence is what we need to maybe establish mm -hmm. um as much as it's possible but also I I must say that where we are at right now mm -hmm. where we are at right now you will find that almost all the careers there is a place of convergence if you have two areas mm -hmm. of passion there is a place you can find a convergence i'm an extrovert yeah mm -hmm. i'm trained as a computer science scientist but now i am a teacher so so there is a convergence yeah, between yeah. being an extrovert mm -hmm. and you know being a computer scientist so for me that's that's what i would that those those would be my thoughts all right thank you so much we're out of time i'm yes. giving you one second or two seconds yes. give us your final uh, recommendations to this particular topic of um, laying uh, the foundation as a, to the career okay um thank you for having me in this show i really appreciate and uh, uh to the viewers who are out there um my quick thoughts would be um, let's engage in a conversation with the young ones even right from onset let's engage with them let's not be very subjective in how this is the decisions are being made but let's be very objective listen to them and let's also know that all careers today as, as long as someone is passionate about it all careers today they count the, there is always a way that someone is able to make money if they are passionate about something. So let money not be the, you know, the front thing or the, the biggest motivator for a mm -hmm. particular career choice that we are making. And lastly, it's also to say, get a mentor. Get some, someone who can talk to you very objectively, um, someone who can listen to you. Um, but also, if you're joining, um, you know, institution of higher learning, before you dive deeper and deeper, get to talk to someone. Like in Zitec, we have a career, um, career guidance office that helps the students to be able to understand their career choices. And so get to interact with someone who is objective and let them listen to you and get to know how you can converge or get your skills um, you know, together with the areas of passion that you are you are interested in all right thank you so much daniel for coming and speaking to our uh, audience out there i'm sure they have learned one or two things yes. most importantly every career counts whatever the hustle you choose in your life counts at the end of the day as long as it puts food on the table thank you so much for watching and staying with us throughout that morning i still urge you to continue enjoying the rest of our programs he has been my guest and daniel injero a ct expert and my name is deliver hillary see you again in the evening with the news until then have yourself a very good day and good morning <laughs>